And so this video begins in Rosemont, the neighborhood nearest O'Hare International Airport in the great windy city of Chicago. Just spent four days watching baseball and having fun with friends. Now it's time to get back on a play to go home. Welcome back to the channel and welcome if it's your first time. What a wonderful weekend of watching baseball and hanging out with this guy. Did you have a good time, Adam? It was good. It was cold, it was crisp, but it was fun. Especially last night. That was bone chilling out so at Wrigley. Cold. It was fun to be out there. I still feel it in my bones. Yeah, it was a hard time uh, getting warmth after last the night after inning, the I game. didn't know where I was anymore. Me neither. I thought I was in Antarctica. No. Nope. Igloo. Yeah, Antarctica, Chicago. Same thing. Same thing. Same thing. But welcome back, guys. I am leaving today on an airplane. This guy is doing me a solid and uh, dropping me off at the airport in the rental car. We stayed right here. The Hyatt. Right there is the hotel for the weekend over at the Rosemont neighborhood. And so here's a video. I'm going to document my experience going home to Tampa, and so that's it. What are you flying today? I am flying United to Orlando International. You're going to MCO. Orlando? MCO. MCO. And I'm going to the Tampa International Airport, of course. I'm flying American. Pretty similar areas. Yeah, similar. We'll be in the same airport. I think we'll be in different terminals, so once he drops me off, we will I got to return the rental car. You got to return the rental car. Return the rental car. Then take the shuttle over, then I get on my plane. You're flying out, out an hour before so I So you're doing, you're doing me a favor, you're dropping me right off the terminal, so yeah. thank you. Thanks for driving me around Chicago this weekend. Yeah. Appreciate it, man. All right, here's our experience. Go check out his video as well. His Continental by American Airlines. United. Oh no, that's a Continental? Does that even exist anymore? That's a breakfast. Oh, that's the breakfast I just had. Oh, I get it. All right, there's a bunch ahead. I think I just had breakfast on the mind. Perhaps it was because of this giant billboard above me with the egg McMuffins. Or wait, that's a sausage cheese McMuffin there up front. Two for two. Not having that today, though. All right, Chicago runs on Duncan. And so do we. We need some fuel to get back home. Back to Tampa. Back to Tampa. Got my bag packed up tight. Had a good night's sleep last night. And Adam just dropped me off at the airport. Shout out to him. Thank you so much for the transportation, buddy. I appreciate it. Got my coffee over here. I got to drink up because I'm about to jump in the TSA line and go through the security checkpoint. My flight leaves. Hey, I'm vlogging here. My flight leaves at 1.15 and I've got a couple hours. So I am going to show you a filming location or try to from Home Alone 2, Lost in New York, which started here in Chicago, obviously. I'm gonna try to match up a screenshot from the movie. Let's see if I can do it. Also, these flowers are very pretty, aren't they? And they remind me of my girl, Chris, the girl. I've missed you so much, Chris. I'm coming home to you, and I'm gonna put you in the video when I get there. And here we go. And thankfully, I always pack light. Everything I brought this weekend fit in my backpack right here on the back of my back. Here is some airport information with a nice little map of O'Hare. Let's check out the terminal. I believe my concourse is concourse H11. So I will be entering right here, which is kind of behind me, somewhere over in this region. And I will be going through concourse H. So I will be going through the main terminal and to the right, H11 I believe, so right around here that's oh that's h11 alpha so it's probably somewhere in the same region just to show you where the home alone 2 filming location is well just remember this point right here by h3 this long hallway here you'll recognize it when we get there so that's where the filming location is where are my planes taking off just to put things into perspective today security checkpoint 7 concourse g h k and l terminal 3 this is the one I'll see you on the other side. Can't film that. Okay, weird things like this always happens to me when I travel, or at least I feel it's just me. I'm sure it's not just me, but a TSA agent came to the back of the line I was just in at checkpoint seven and asked us all to go through checkpoint six. So now I'm going through checkpoint six. What's going on over here? Looks like they're gonna film a commercial or something. That's a lot of cameras. I just exited the TSA security checkpoint 
Check out my giant bag. This is an oversized bag. This is what I call my four to five day trip bag. It's just a gigantic backpack. It's, it's almost like a suitcase, but I'm able to put that on my shoulder and keep my laptop in it. My shoes, no, I wear those, but here you go, my camera. Oh, I'm holding my camera, dumb moment. <laughs> and last but not least, I have to put on my shoes. Look, the first thing I saw when I came out of checkpoint six is a Starbucks. I got about halfway through my Dunkin' coffee and had to throw it out before I got to the security checkpoint. I just couldn't drink it fast enough, so Starbucks is enticing. I don't know. I think I'm good. Maybe I'll go show you a filming location first. Oh, look, they have a Sprinkles cupcake machine. Vending machine. Well, that's pretty nice. They have one of those at Disney Springs and also in Tampa at Hyde Park. Those look really good. I'm just curious how much a cupcake is. Well, it's $6.34 for dark chocolate cupcake. It looks like they're all the same price. $6.34 plus tax, of course. Triple dub oops diapers to go.com for all you parents out there. Check it out. If you forgot something, we've got bottles in there. We've got some Gerber baby food, chicken and Parmesan cheese ravioli. I'm not gonna say that doesn't uh, <laughs> look good to me. I'm, I could buy that. You got the Huggies. Oh, Mickey Mouse Huggies. You got all kinds of stuff. Oh, look at little SpongeBob mask there. Garrett popcorn. They were selling this yesterday at Wrigley. Also, before we went to Wrigley yesterday, we went to the Nuts on Clark popcorn store that's on Clark Street right there in Wrigleyville. Here's a quick look through the glass and an explanation of what I'm about to show you. Home Alone 2, Lost in New York. They depart the airport, O'Hare, the whole entire family as they're about to go on the trip, just like in the first film. And there's a scene where they're running through the airport and Kevin makes a wrong turn and ends up in New York as we know. But that scene, it was actually filmed over here in the main concourse of American Airlines in O'Hare, right down here. And they run this way, and Kevin goes one way, and they go the other, and he gets on the wrong plane. I believe they're going to Florida, and he ends up in New York. And I found this scene randomly on YouTube. As you can see here, K and H. Today, I will be on Concourse H. So this is exactly where we're going. I just did a little research before I got there. About to show you this filming location. This is awesome. So if you're ever in this airport and you're wondering where that scene went down that I'm about to show you, you gotta come to Concourse H and K. It's right in the middle of the American Airlines terminal, in the middle of this terminal here, Terminal 3. And we're gonna take a right by the Illinois, the eye over there, the orange eye. And here it is. If you've seen the movie, you already recognize the pattern of the glass, the design here. This is the main path to the concourse. Now, the shot was of them running, coming from behind me, running towards the K and H concourses. So I'll turn around and match up the screenshot just, just in a second, but I just wanted to show you exactly what's going on here. It's very identifiable, very iconic looking here at O'Hare. Every time I come down this gateway here, this passageway, I think of Home Alone. I call this the Run Run Rudolph scene because that's the song that's playing as the whole McAllister family is coming down this hallway. Now notice the sign right here in the screenshot at the end and all the poles and the crosses. Now there's a flag right here today draped across right here. But right here also the columns to the right. The McAllisters would have been running towards us right here. The signs are still the same hanging there, it's just the letters have changed. But we'll see if I can get you more of an exact matchup from this screenshot right here. Hold on, check it out. Right here. The camera would have been more down on the floor. But the McAllisters with Kevin trailing behind would have ran down this way through the K and H terminals right down there. I'm gonna match up some other screenshots from this scene. 
while I'm here. I got time. I got about an hour until my plane boards. Maybe a little less. Okay, check this out. Behind the McAllister crew, I paused it just right. Notice the exit sign in the doorway over there. This pole right behind, and this column. Here we are today, the column, the pole, the door, and the exit sign. Isn't that cool? They ran right through here. And also the ceiling's still the same. The pattern of the ceiling, then and now. That's so cool, the McAllisters. And Kevin ran up here. And I have to give a shout out to the late and great John Hurd. Passed away a few years ago. Mr. McAllister. But this jacket right here he was wearing, that's how Kevin got confused because he thought he was following his dad. He was trailing behind, trying to put his batteries into his talk boy right here. Check it out. Right there. John Hurd running this way. He goes right, and I believe Kevin goes left, or it could be the opposite. But we're about to find that out. I'm gonna show you, i always show you. I love filming locations with a passion, especially Home Alone too. I would love to go to back to New York, do some of those. And I'll look back at Kevin as he's running towards the end of the concourse. Notice the globe hanging here. It's Christmas time, of course. We can make out a portion the lower half of this globe that is hanging here today. Right there behind Kevin. Not much has changed here in the last 30 years. Actually, 30 years exactly. 1992 is when the movie released. Macaulay Culkin gets lost right here. He didn't know it until he landed at JFK though. Kevin just couldn't wait to put those batteries in. Check out the crack in the floor of the tile. Look at this. Same tile today. That's pretty cool. I love stuff like that. There you go, it could have been right here. Okay, I pinpointed the spot of the gentleman right here checking out at a former counter that used to sit here. This is the gentleman that Kevin got confused and accidentally followed instead of his dad. Go Tampa Bay. Go Rays. Just using a random video of this scene that I found on YouTube. So shout out to this video. I think I showed it there. You may have found the channel already. So shout out to them. Thank you. There you go. Right there. This is where Kevin, the imposter, Kevin's dad, John, the imposter John Hurd, bought the magazine. Okay, so I'm watching this real time to see which way the McAllister family went which way Kevin went. Okay, so they went to the right. They're going to H like I'm doing today to go back to Tampa. And Kevin followed the wrong dad to K right here. And here you go, K to the left, H to the right. Looks like the service center used to be dead on, but all of this has not changed right here. McAllister's went that way. Kevin McAllister went that way. And Home Alone too. Here you go, one more time for you. Right there. That's awesome. I just enjoyed myself way too much doing that. Home Alone too. Lost in New York. All right, I gotta get to my play. H, I'm going the way that the McAllisters did. Kevin went that way. I wanna thank everyone that watched all my videos from my Chicago trip this weekend. And thank everyone in general for always watching. But yeah, I just did five days in a row. This will be the fifth video to come out. We went to four games of baseball. It was definitely a baseball-centric trip. And it was awesome that Adam and I and Cowbell Max got to all hang out. And so shout out to those guys for hanging out with me. I had a great time with you. Thanks to Adam for setting everything up. Yeah, so thank you guys for uh, hanging with me, doing a travel vlog today. I did one a few weeks ago when I flew to Indianapolis and back, and I just kind of showed you my situation. Uh, my grandma has been very ill, and so I wanted to go up and spend time with her, knowing that I had to come up here as planned for a long time for this weekend. And so um, I got on a plane, and I went up there and visited her, and I documented that experience. My Spirit Airline 
flight was canceled. And I want to give a bit of update on that. Spirit Airlines actually watched the video and they contacted me and they offered to uh, refund my flight, which that was very nice of them. So I thought I'd give a little update on that to Spirit Airlines. I am flying American today, not because uh, of my situation with Spirit, just because I had that flight booked a long time and I always choose the flights that are more convenient for me pertaining my schedule, uh, the time frame I have to get back and forth, and also my budget. Sometimes Spirit's cheaper, sometimes American Airlines cheaper, and sometimes you have to buy the more expensive flight because of time, you know, can't always have it your way. But yeah, I just want to give an update there real quick as I'm heading to my concourse, to my terminal. Oh, look at that. That goes along with today's subject matter. This banner hanging from the ceiling over here at Concourse H. Lady Liberty. New York, New York. Can't wait to get back there. It's been way too long. I haven't been there since 2020. No, wait. 2019. Oh my gosh. Actually, the last live stream I did on this channel was in 2019 at Times Square. Just hit my brain. That's a long time ago. I gotta do another live stream soon. Yeah, maybe I'll do one very soon. Oh, I see Nuts on Clark over there. Nuts on Clark, Cowbell Max. Bought some of these yesterday at their store in Wrigleyville, but they sell them here at the airport. It's the same box too, I can confirm. Very cartoony box there. Oh, they even have a Chicago Bulls one, of course. And they have just a clear bag. And there's like three different popcorns in there. I see caramel, cheddar, and regular. Oh wow, this store is bigger than I thought. Look, the giant popcorn maker. Open 6 to 8 p.m. daily. They also have beverages here, which I might actually buy one here. I usually get a soda for the flight. Maybe I'll get a Coke. Yeah, this is a good spot to do it. Got it. Smells so good in here. Maybe I'll get popcorn too. Look, out the nuts on Clark window. Very well could be my plane. I'm very close to my terminal. I don't know if that's it. I'll tell you what, if it's it, I'll update you. But let's just watch this thing come in. This is cool, isn't it? Man, it smells so good in here. It's coming down the yellow line. Oh, I believe it's gonna stop right there. Made it, wow, stopped on a dime or like a glove. I will try a free sample. Why not? All right, it, I went for a bag. Thank you so much. Oh, so you put it in the bag? Oh, okay. You line it. That's how it works. Thank you. I don't know what I like better. The cheddar, the regular, or the caramel. It's all good. It's all delicious. At exactly 12.57, I'm walking down the ramp and boarding the airplane. A little bit about the flight. I think we'll be taking off out of Chicago to the west. Beautiful day to go flying. Some good sightseeing on the way if the uh, clouds cooperate. And if you're interested, our route of flight will take us just west of the airport, kind of toward Mensonville before we turn southbound. We'll fly over the southwest suburbs of Orland Park. A little further downstate over Mokina, Kankakee. We'll follow, you follow roughly right along the Illinois-Indiana border past Danville and Terre Haute. Eventually over Evansville, Indiana. Over top of Nashville, Tennessee, we'll continue south past uh, well, paralleling the Alabama-Georgia border, uh, over LaGrange, Georgia, to southwest of Atlanta, out over Fort Benning and Bainbridge, Georgia, and into northern Florida. We'll fly past Tallahassee, right down the west coast of Florida, make landfall about Newport Richie as we turn back toward Tampa. I am estimating two hours and four minutes once we're airborne. We'll be climbing to an altitude of 37,000 feet. My weather people have guaranteed me a nice smooth ride. When I'm convinced they're telling me the truth, I'll turn off the seatbelt sign at that time. I do ask, however, regardless of what that sign says, you're in your seat. Pass it up your belt like we do up front here, just in case we encounter any unanticipated turbulence. And if you could do me one more favor, try to keep the aisle away as clear as you can. Make my flight attendants a whole lot happier with me by the time we get down to Tampa. So in the meantime, sit back, relax, enjoy yourselves. I promise not to pass you with another PA until we approach uh, the airport. <laughs> Probably 15 or 20 minutes out, I'll update you with an arrival time and the current weather. 
Again, thanks for joining us once before. We should be on our way shortly. All right. That was a great announcement. That's a lot of information. We'd like to be the first to welcome you to Tampa, where the local time here is 4.33. I don't know what this is called. I always call it the Helix, but it's pretty rad. Right here in the main terminal. Not the main terminal, but the terminal here where I landed. Check it out. It lights all the way up. Man, I'm so glad to be home. I had a great trip, but man, am I tired. And do I miss my beautiful girlfriend and my puppy, my Beagle Bella. And Chris is coming to pick me up. So I'm about to be reunited with her. Just gotta head over here where it says to terminal and catch the tram. Here it comes, it's a monorail. This will be my shuttle. Can't hear it. This glass is so thick. It's quiet too, it doesn't make a lot of noise. And here we go. Just a short trip to the main terminal. Passing the other monorail, the shuttle. It's a bumpy ride, you gotta hold on. Already there. And it always opens up to the right. <laughs> All right, now that I'm at the main terminal, I have to say hello to an old friend. Noticing a lot of media in here today. If I had to guess, I don't think you uh, have to wear possibly a mask in here anymore. Maybe that made big news. And there he is, Flamingo. Flamingo, I love my Flamingo. I missed you, my friend. I missed you so much. I'm starting to get, in, I'm starting to, get to know you very well, passing you all the time. The sign says, caution, Flamingo in progress. It's not done yet. I don't know if it's ever going to be done. I think it's just part of the art, so to speak. Speak of that, that's a big beak. It's a huge head. All right, I've shown this twice now on the channel and I've been through here four times in the last three weeks. So it's always good to see my flamingo. If you didn't know this, I love flamingos, especially the giant flamingo in the Tampa International Airport. I could stay here all day. Airport employees spent the entire day removing a lot of mask signs that they had up around the airport. Okay, that's it. I, I just caught wind of it. You do not have to wear a mask in the terminal, but you still have to wear one on the airplane. So there you go. As I landed at Tampa International Airport, saw the big flamingo. I got the breaking news. No masks inside the airport. I'm already almost out. All right, Chris, I'm coming. Oh, I'm gonna miss you, Flamingo. I'm gonna miss you so much. And the last escalator. Welcome to Tampa Bay. And this should be the last escalator of my day, of my trip. The next escalator will probably be, the next one I step on will probably be the Tropicana Field sometime in the near future. All right. All right, Chris, the girl, she said she's on her way. I don't live too far. She's not too far. And as I'm sitting here waiting for Chris to pick me up right here at Arrivals, I wanna take this opportunity to say how much I love and how grateful I am of Chris, my girlfriend, Chris, the girl. She is just incredible. And she volunteered to stay in Florida longer because she knew I was going to go on this trip and she wanted to hang back and watch our dog Bella for me. And I just wanna say, I've never met someone um, who I've connected with 
who I've loved so much in my entire life, and she's like the greatest thing that ever happened to me. I see her now, she's here. Reunited with my girl, and it feels so good, baby. Hey, beautiful. Hold on, I'm coming. There she is. I'm here, your long lost girlfriend. So, did you miss me? I did, I missed you a ton. <laughs> did you miss me? I know you were having a lot of fun. But... I missed you so much. It was go, go, go. Yep. And uh, it was fun. It was good. a good time. I had a great weekend, but I most good. definitely missed my soulmate. But now we've been Bella. reunited. Uh -huh. Bella too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look beautiful and amazing. And uh, yeah, I miss you so much. How'd you, how, how was your weekend? Uh, busy as well. Busy, <laughs> but I, good. I saw that, I watched one of her videos on the plane. I'm oh, catching up. I appreciate that, yeah. I hate that I missed out. Yeah, well, I've, I haven't watched yours I know yet you, either. I know so you've been busy. That's the, that's the, that's how it goes. It's the vlogging life for us. Oh, well, look at your sticker. Oh, Chris has stickers, just saying. Should've got, I should have gave you some stickers. Oh, you know, I was thinking that. There's stickers everywhere in Chicago. Yeah. I could have stuck them everywhere. Oh, that makes me think, maybe I should get stickers. You should. That's something you don't see every day. That little car, I was gonna say a little Jeep. It's actually smaller than a car. That's more like a golf cart. It's on top of the uh, old school Hummer, the H1. Okay. okay, now that we've parked and you're not driving anymore, we've, yeah. we've got a bit more to, we've caught up a bit more. And now you're about to do what? Give you a surprise, a welcome home. <laughs> I had to set it up so they knew what was going on. Surprise. What? Here you go. What is this? This is cool. Here. Oh, it you, looks like I think so. I know what it is. There you go. Oh wow! <laughs> Where'd you get that? I know where you got that. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, oh, I saw that. I love that shirt. Yeah. It's the trap. It um. So this is an early birthday present. Did you go to Tropicana Field? So this is an early birthday present. Early birthday and, present. Um. Yeah. She went to the trap. So uh, I got this for you, and um, I was gonna, I was gonna obviously save it for your birthday. Yeah. But then, like at the last second, like right before I left, I, I was like, shirt. you know what? It's so retro. I, should give him something as a welcome home for oh, coming thanks, back babe. In, the, in the Tropicana field. Don't ever leave the... the Tropicana field again. Yeah. So, there Aww. you go. I'll be back there soon. You want to go to a game? I do, yeah. I'll we'll go to a game. I can't believe... So did you go to the team store? Or did you just get... Oh, you don't want to say. <laughs> you don't want to... Oh, well, it was okay. all a surprise. That's, that was the second half uh... of my video. Okay. Yeah, I haven't. So, I watched your first one. I haven't watched your second one. Yeah, but one. you you aren't supposed to watch the second half because the second half of that video is me literally shopping for your birthday presents. Oh, okay. And this is one of them, so I'm. Oh, so I kind of spoiling a I, decent I, amount of the surprise I, for you. you for so, all I know, there you, you, go. you got that on Amazon. <laughs> yeah, let's go with that. And she was being a good sport, no pun intended, because I did say in a video one time that I have a lot of Ray shirts. I don't have a Tropicana Field shirt that I wanted one, so. Yeah, exactly. You're such a sweetheart, thank yeah. you. Right here in the South Tampa neighborhood of Hyde Park on Swan, established in 1925, goody goody. That is the original sign brought from the former location that used to sit on Florida Avenue. It's been repurposed. But this restaurant here opened up a few years back. They reopened the restaurant here in Hyde Park. So we're gonna go in and get some goody goody burgers. We've been coming here for a couple months, well, oh, a few months now. You, yeah, this is like our fourth time here. This is like our spot. Yeah. They've got burgers and all kinds of breakfast items. There went a loud Corvette, or that may have been a Lamborghini. That kind of sets the mood for the neighborhood. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> yeah, so let's get some food. And here's a look at the bar. And back there, Chris is on the way to our table. I just wanted to show you before we got there, what it looked like inside. Just a straight up classic looking diner. Check it out, nostalgia hits the spot. Here's the thing about a well executed old timey diner. It can make you nostalgic for a time you never experienced. Hi. Last night, Wrigley Field, it was so old and nostalgic. It was like going back to the early 1900s because that's when it was made. It was created in 1914. And now I'm going for the original goody goody. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. 
Yep, I'm gonna make it a cheeseburger. They call it the P-O-X, pickles, onions, and secret sauce. Let's go raise. Let's go raise. Let's go raise. And you got your grilled cheese, as always. That's your yep. go-to here, isn't it? That's my go-to, yep. That's your go-to. I either get breakfast or a BLT or the goody goody burger with the secret sauce right here. Now, if I had to guess what the secret sauce was, it's more of like a marin marinara sauce. It's kind of like a pasta sauce, which it tastes really good on the burger. But they've been making this since 1925 way back in the day and I, I've showed it once before actually. I showed it in my uh, Punisher filming locations video uh, because the Punisher once ate at Goody Goody Burger in the uh, 2003 Thomas Jane film. Not this one, the old location, but he sure did. But no, nope. good to be back and having a meal with my girl. And I love the cl <laughs> It's Was he all right? The fries are hot. The fries are hot? I saw that face, I'm like, oh no, what, what happened? Well, they're good, right? But it's good to be back with you. I missed you. And thanks again for my shirt. Welcome. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna have me some Goody Goody Burger. Because I had I couldn't go to the Billy Goat Tavern the other night in Chicago. This is our Billy Goat Tavern here. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger, cheeseburger. There is cheese on that. And that was Goody Goody. Really enjoyed it. Just wanted to show these old chairs here in the restaurant. Look at that. Here. Yeah. I missed you too. Okay, I just gotta hook you up here. Almost, oh, missed it. Oh yeah, this would be a lot better if you just sit still. Thank you, I missed you. I missed you both. I got you. I caught one. I got one. I got one. What's that from? There's a clue right there. Even though Janine says, we've got one. No, I've got one. Well guys, if you enjoyed the video, do Bell and I a solid, give it a thumbs up, and if it was your first time, subscribe below. Ending the video on a nice little stroll with my with my beagle and my sweetheart. There's our feet right there. And there's a thumbs up, just like that. And there's my feet. Hope you enjoyed the voyage today, the Home Alone 2 filming locations, Entangled, the airport, the Flamingo and the beagle, and Chris the girl. And also shout out again to Adam the Woo. Hope he made it home to Orlando. Okay, it's over. Bye bye. I should probably cut it before she uh, cuts some. Yes, yeah. she's, she's almost there. Oh, there she goes.